Well, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I have another half hour left to go. Uh, I'm watching another set of vlogs that I found. It's uh, from uh, Our Family Nest. The, uh, have a, uh, the, the boy Chase has the girl Asha. Uh, she has her own channel, so I've, I've been here at, well, at that channel watching her vlogs. Uh, I'm going to have something to eat, and I'm waiting to, for about 8.30 to uh, do an off-schedule gaming. There are um, tasks that I have to take care of in the game. And this is an off-schedule task. So, uh, <laughs> I'll do that. I have to wait till about 8.30, so that's pulling that off. And then, uh, we'll start rolling into the day after, into, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So, I probably won't be vlogging again until, uh, around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday night, you know, after Saturday. So, that's our next, uh, uh, our next uh, point or segment <sighs> or segment well it is Monday July 27th uh, it's around 4.48, and it's time to end our weekend vlog. Uh, I've been, uh, didn't do, did no YouTube show during the weekend. And this is, and the editing and posting didn't go on, uh, because, uh, I ended up with a bottle of food poison, food poisoning. I'm still recovering from it. So, that's going to delay things. So, the, I was able to vlog, but, uh... Not much of anything else. Uh, most of the time, I just spent spent uh, in bed or in the bathroom. <laughs> and if anyone's ever experienced food poisoning, it's, it's not pleasant on the system, and it really uh, uh, takes an effort uh, to sort of get yourself going and even to do anything. So, uh, 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 most vloggers won't vlog this. Uh, they'll vlog only the good stuff. But. Uh, if it's going to be you are worth it or something like that, or no re in my case, no refunds, uh, then um, you vlog good or bad. It doesn't matter what you vlog in terms of your mood and whatever, because it's no refunds. It's, it's, it, it is what it is. Even if you get people mad or you say something that's sort of offensive, or I, I think because you, you you're not you're not even when you say something offensive, you're not intending to push a person into your views or belief. You may be stating something that is true, didn't, is, is indeed true, but the other person is going to find it offensive. Truth, in many cases, is offensive. Because people don't want to see what reality is. They want to have their own reality. And when you challenge their reality, rea challenge their reality, reality, no matter how, you've met, how you men may, mean it, they're going to get offended. Uh, so it doesn't matter what your worth is. It's no refunds. And the thing is, if you offend them or not offend them, they'll still always be around in many cases. Uh, particularly if you're a type of person who, uh, who produces something that they want or need, then it doesn't matter how you offend them or how angry they get at some point in time. They'll always come back and, you know, oh, do you have this or... You know, can I talk to you for a moment? I need your advice on something. And then that's, that's true. You'll even come back and ask, you've offended them. They'll come back and ask for more advice. In many cases, what happens is in cases like that, is that well, typically they'll go to people to ask for advice, and if they hear back what they agree with, they'll be happy with it. But they say, "Oh, is the person telling me the truth?" They go back to the person who offended them. Is this and they say, "Is this what you really believe?" And I say, "Yeah, that's what I believe. This is well, not not necessarily what I believe. This is what I, for my case, it's about what I observed, what I've experienced. So from my experience, from my observations, this is what this is. 
this and that. Do you want me to lie to you? Or, you know, do you want me to tell you what you want to feel? Or, 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 or do you want the truth? And that, this is the problem. It, 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 the, the, sort of the disease that's going around in society today. And it stems from, it's, it's sort of an offshoot or, or a consequence of self-esteem. You can't hurt a person's feelings. So if they get offended, their feelings are hurt, and well, there you go. You're now a criminal because you've hurt their feelings. You know, she should be put in jail and flogged or lose your job or, you know, lose your, In other words, the revenge factor comes in, you know, in as much as it can come in uh, to a degree where the, the person who has been offended is now satisfied by the revenge that they receive. But that's, the, again, again, that's, a, that's a culture today. And it permits it. it, it, it it's, I, I would call it a very demonic society, a very demonic view, because it's not about simply sharing an opinion. It's about forcing other people to your ideals, and if they offend you, attack them and kill them. That's not peaceful. That's not peaceful protest. That's, this is a mob mentality. This is a lynch mob uh, and it's all stem. It's all stems from self-esteem. Go look at the definition. T t there are two words. Look at the definition of self, and look at the definition of esteem. Esteem is something that, that, that is, that's given to you. You don't give it to yourself. Anyways, this is all on the note of: uh, Are you worth it or not? And from my perspective, no refunds. <laughs>